Okay. I believe that was set up correctly. And my audio is working. Okay, cool. Good morning, everyone. So yeah, this is the start of a new type of stream I'm going to start doing. You know, it depends on a lot of factors. Um, in this case, I waited so long because I kept sleeping in. And it gets so hot in the middle of the day here. Especially because like, I have a south-facing uh, room. So basically turns into a hot box even with ac it's usually like a couple degrees hotter than it is supposed to be so great design this house um that being said we are going to do some auditions today i kind of put it off for a while so we got a lot to look through it's going to be a lot of looking through not necessarily a ton of recording i try and keep it down to like five to ten at most uh, depends on, you know, how strenuous each one is. But, uh, yeah, pretty early in the morning. Uh, or rather, I got up pretty early in the morning. I've been up since, I think, like, just before 5. But I figured, uh, you know, we could all warm up together. Because it's something that is a little interactive. So, if you're watching, the first things you can do to warm up don't even necessarily require your voice. First thing is just warming up your face and your neck because those are two of the most important parts of your voice. Obviously, your whole body, your lungs, even like the tension you hold in your legs can affect your voice. But um, yeah, one of the first things you can do is just massage your face. Wow. Eyebrows and forehead too. You got resonance chambers that go through your whole skull, so it's important. You try and warm up everything. Get your neck and throat, too. You know, don't be... Don't hurt yourself or anything, but be firm. Uh, massaging is a form of exercise, because it stimulates the muscles. It's good to get them started. I do, uh, when I get up in the morning, I do full body stretches, so I've already done that today. I recommend you do the same. And I've been drinking water. I got a, I had a coupon for like a free thing at Dunkin', so I got a tea. Breakfast tea. Way over brewed. I should have taken the tea bags out way sooner. Oh well. Um, I'm gonna keep looking over there to make sure I'm in frame. Uh, oh yeah, and this is my my uh, studio slash bedroom, which I know usually I'm streaming over here. So you see the, the shelves back there, which have all of my board games. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, about 140 of them right now. And I got more coming in from Kickstarters and stuff. So that's, uh, that's what that's about. Anyways, yeah. You want to try and warm up your voice just by massaging? Get yourself loose and limber. Any tension can uh, can kind of limit you and what you're able to do. This is very, very, I probably should have put a message saying warming up in case anybody comes during this part. Oh, well. Something to remember for next time. Actually, I could put, probably set that up right now. One sec. One second. There we go. So now it's uh, not as weird if somebody comes in while I'm doing the massage part, but yeah, just a few minutes. Warm up your face, kind of yeah, stretch around, do weird faces. 
also helps. Especially with me, I have a big mouth, um, but I also have like a lot of a lot of cheek that gets in the way. My tongue is really like friggin' fat, so hey, it gets in the way. So kind of limbering up, you know, just doing whatever, kind of convince your face to uh, open up a little bit. Those help too. A little bit of shake. All right. Um, yeah. Have a sip of water, which is important. Okay. Um, that's warming up the face, then breathing. So, pretty straightforward breathing exercise. Uh, we're just going to do a few sets of it, but all you do is you breathe in for a four count, hold it for a seven count, and then uh, breathe out for an eight count. And we just do that over and over. And when you're breathing out, do it sort of small, like you're breathing through a straw, maybe. You know, you don't want to let out all of your air immediately. You want to control it. So starting with a first set of that, so. Okay. Yeah, it's good to start the morning with that deep breathing exercise, but um, throughout the day I'll usually do a couple sets, two or three, to uh, just kind of recenter myself. Thanks for tuning in, Jason Payne James. Um, yep, gonna have a sip of my tea. I'm still kind of getting over whatever. It's not uh, COVID, but it's a new thing that's going around. I had it a few weeks ago, and it's, like, mostly gone, but it's still kind of lingering, which is unfortunate, which it's just kind of gunking up yeah, in the chest and the throat. So, working through it, trying not to do anything too strenu str strenuous, and trying not to clear my throat, because I can feel the mucus in there, and you can kind of hear I'm a little creaky, I get kind of raspy at some points, and that's because there's the mucus there, and I probably have, like, a granuloma or something that's, you know... Which are, you're, they're not vocal nodes, they're not vocal nodules, they're just kind of like temporary little bumps on your vocal cord, just like clusters of white blood cells whenever you get sick. So it's important to have vocal rest if you think you have one. I don't really have that, uh, that luxury all the time though, so I usually save my vocal rest for the weekends. Okay, so we've done face exercise, which you could probably do it for longer, but I don't do it a ton. Frankly, I don't warm up very often. I probably should, but yeah, I, I slack on it, which, yeah. And cool down. I'm very bad about cooling down properly. Be better than me, for sure, if you want to protect your voice. Um, and then we did breathing, which is great. Now, 
hopefully I set this up correctly, you should be able to hear this, uh, this video I usually use for running scales. So it's a quick five minute vocal warm up, but I use it in conjunction with the other stuff to make a, a bigger sort of warm up go on. But uh, yeah, let me put on my headphones. So I can hear it, and then, um, yeah, hopefully when I hit play, you guys will be able to hear this too. Uh, don't worry if you're warming up along with me. Don't worry about necessarily being on key or anything. I'm probably not going to be on key because I, I'm not, like, classically trained or anything. What's important is that you're moving your voice up and down and doing your best. Just make sure you get a good lungful of air before you sing along and then let it out slowly as you sing along just focus focus on that you know keep it at a volume that's comfortable for you and if it gets too high don't push yourself too hard um but yeah let's get into it we are starting with a hum <laughs> Now, mum. Gotta be better about breathing. Keep forgetting. Mum, 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 Creaky. We roll arpeggio. Thank you. 
Now, arpeggio on Goog. This one sounds real silly. Goo 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 goo. Goo 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 goo. It's getting a little high for me. Turn off autoplay, just to be sure. A little water. Yeah, that was the thing, kind of a block with me doing this earlier, is just, uh... It, it's easy to get self-conscious doing warm-ups, because it's when, you know, you don't necessarily sound your best, because you're warming up. So, you know, I already am a little self-conscious about my voice, as actors often are, and so, uh, yeah, showing this, showing the warm-ups, it's a little daunting, and I know I look silly doing it, and I know I, you know, there was, like, that part where I choked up a little, it got a little high for me, like, that happens. What's important is that you're using your voice and you're, you know, getting yourself warmed up. Uh, speaking is also a good way to get warmed up, you know, just speaking gently, not whispering, because whispering kind of rubs the vocal folds together and can make them a little rougher so you want to make sure that you're drinking plenty of water maybe a little tea although try and go herbal decaffeinated i'm going with breakfast tea this morning which was probably not a great idea because the caffeine can excite uh it can excite the muscles and make them a little harder to control so not always the best and it can kind of dry you out, but I, I put some raw honey and some uh, lemon in it. So it's helping out. And uh, what else? Uh, just grab like a book. Uh, for a while, I would just read a chapter of Goosebumps, which is usually two or three pages. And I just read it out loud. So it's, it's you know, a great way to do that. Great way to practice some character voices, all that. I recorded a lot of those and just posted them up because I'm like, if I'm spending my time anyways... Don't tell R.L. Stein. Um, uh, exactly, yeah. Uh, yeah, warming up is important. I should do it more often. Um, I'm being especially careful in trying to set a good example because I'm, you know, actually doing this in front of people now. So I want that to be clear and to teach you guys some warm-ups that, you know, I should do every time. Usually only do every few times. And then cool downs, which would be the, the opposite of that. So we got one more warm-up. Uh, well, a couple more. I got a couple more that we can do here. So the next one is, uh, it's, it's sort of an elevator. So we start low, go high, and then come back down. Uh, but it's with this noise, which is, hmm, makes you look great. You look lovely doing it. But, uh, yeah, that really opens up the sinuses, which is important for me because I got, like, a slightly deviated septum and I get allergies. So opening up your sinuses is good. So we're going to start low, go high, and then go back down. So. I haven't gone a bot in forever. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. 
expand. Okay. Excuse me. Continuing. <laughs> it's hard to maintain. <laughs> I'm just kind of going all over the place. I don't have anything to work off of, and I don't know how to run the scales on piano, even though I got one back here. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to work on that one. I'm going to look up how to do it a little more properly. Um, and the other one is just uh, speaking in a falsetto. Kind of helps you to close up some of the, the little breaks and things in the higher pitch. So you just need to do a falsetto voice, which is very high. And it doesn't have to be loud. Just kind of speak high up there. And it's doing a lot of similar things to what the hing voice was doing. Just kind of do that for a minute. How are you guys doing, by the way? I hope you're you're having a good morning. You know, I'm doing all right myself. And you can hear little creaks in there and stuff because you gotta you kind of hear it going. And just go really falsetto with it, really even higher than that. And it's it's not attractive, but it'll open up some things in there. Okay, I think that's long enough on that. And then one last one is. Uh, the full elevator, which is you go from your lowest note and just smoothly go up to your highest note and then start from the top and go down. So, I'm probably going to crack somewhere between that mid-range, but that's just how it goes. So don't worry if that happens to you, but just start low and... That's where I crack, right about there. Uh, I'm trying not to clear my voice because it's not it's not good for you too, but you guys can hear that kind of uh, 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 there's I can feel the gunk in there. But getting rid of it can be a little damaging. So oh, I'm trying to kind of knock it out with the exercises. So let's let's do three of those. Um, that was the first one, so we'll do two more. I already get pretty croaky in my lowest register, but yeah, it's especially bad at the moment because I'm a little gunked up. All right, and now back down for three. some weird airy stuff in there see going up versus going down you get different sounds and it, it's a good way to kind of key into some things that you don't realize you can do you know like so there's i didn't think i had a low range and i mostly don't but if i'm doing like a southern accent i can get kind of low down there just like a real now how are you doing young lady oh not well well i'll leave you alone then but uh in other accents, not so much. Like, I, it, people are like, can you take the accent off that? I'm like, I can try, but it's not going to be as low, I don't think. So I'm working on that. I'm working on controlling that a bit more. Because it, it's a constant process. You live with your voice your whole life, and you're always learning new things that you can do, you know? All right. Um, yeah, we're going to switch over to the computer now, and we're going to start picking out auditions to actually do. So I'm going to... Uh, mute, and I'm going to switch the scene, so I'll be right back.
Hold on. Hold on. Keep my uh keep my camera covered up with masking tape when I'm not actually streaming. It gets kinda gunked up. Hold on. You got a bit of schmutz on your face. How are we doing? How are we doing, love? Oh, you look beautiful. You look beautiful. All right. <laughs> let's uh, let's line this all up. Okay, and then uh, yeah, you guys can see OBS there. I'm going to tuck that away. Yeah, we're gonna tuck that onto a different screen here. Um. Yep. 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 Okay, and then we're going to open up Casting Call Club here. And we're going to look through the auditions. Now, I haven't looked through any auditions in a minute or two. And in fact, let me uh, put my headphones on. Uh, knocked over a little case for something. Um, let me, yeah, put my headphones on. Let me actually open up my digital mixer so I can hear myself. Oh, open that up over there. All right. Um, there we go. And I'll just turn myself up. Okay. Now that I can hear myself, I won't be trying to, to shout to hear myself, which would not be good uh, if I'm trying to, you know, save my voice for the stream. So yeah, line that up. Correct. Locked in. Cool. All right, so now I'm going to run you through how I choose projects. So first thing I do is I just go through and I'll look at them one by one pre pretty quickly. You know, I'm not going to narrate this whole thing, but uh, the ones that I decide I kind of want to do, I will narrate. But yeah, we got a lot. They just changed up the project search. So... Uh, these are the filters I have right now. It's mainly just stuff I don't want. So I don't want roleplay stuff, Sims, Minecraft, Genshin Impact, Roblox, Gotcha Club, anything that's relisted, any dubs or fan dubs. Just it's too much work. Uh, Dragon Ball. I like Dragon Ball. It's just, you know, they're looking for big manly voices, which I'm I'm not really keyed into. And I, I'm not super interested in being a part of that. And Five Nights at Freddy's. I love Five Nights at Freddy's, but it's just the projects are... A real crapshoot. So that's uh, an idea of that. And then we sort by new so we can see what's gone up today. And let me make sure to refresh this to make sure that it's all good to go. See? Yeah, it was worth it because something popped up. Although it doesn't look like that's anything for me. But uh, we're going to scroll down to the last time that I dismissed something. It'll probably take a while because we do. Uh, they do infinite scroll now. They used to do pages, which I prefer. And they're thinking maybe they're implement. It depends on how many people want it. I want it, for sure. But uh, yeah, I can totally understand if not enough people want it. Then I mean, why spend so much work on something you don't need to do? All right. Um. Yep. 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 God, it keeps, it's, yeah, it's been, uh, I've been real behind on it because I wanted to do this starting on Monday, well, really Friday of last week, so I've been kind of saving it for that because I got plenty of projects right now, so it's not a huge deal that I uh, need to audition more, but it's always good to stay ahead of it, you know? There we go. All right. And I can already see one of the ones, one of the ones on the bottom here must have gone canceled or ended or something, which happens. So, you know, whatever. So now I'm basically just going to go one by one, open them in a new tab, and uh, dismiss them like that so that I can stay organized and know which ones I've opened and checked. Um, and I'll give like a quick look i'll let you know if there's something that tells me that i don't want to do it even from here so uh yeah as we can see there's some stuff in here male adult scottish i could probably do that 
So we're not going to go through one by one because that'll take forever, but I'm just going to kind of give them a quick once over. Anytime it's like replacement thing, I'm not into that either. Because they usually want you to sound like the guy who left and it's like, I'm not going to. That's just the, the, the fact of the matter. I'm not really a voice match for anybody. And this is just like preliminary. So if I'm like clicking something that you notice like, hey, there's no way you're the right the right fit for that I'll find out when I actually look at the project it's not a big deal uh yeah, I don't like this so much. Because as you can see, it's like, it's an animated series. Just send me an animation for me to see. Your it's. I'll check it out, but that sounds like they don't have a solid enough idea to actually get it done. Oh, nope, never mind. I actually read the role. Female child. Cannot do that one. It won't let you filter by gender, which the old search lets you do, so... It's a little frustrating, but I've brought it up with the mod, so we'll you know, see if that changes. Uh, this one, 143 days. Not a real casting call. They, what that means is that they're just hoping, like, I'm just going to... A pick as I go. Just audition whenever you feel like, and I'll just, when it sounds right, it sounds right. Like some kind of Roman emperor or something. Not a fan of that. Do not like when uh, casting directors do that. Like, I understand sometimes that is the case with a project, but you should, at the very least, do a serious one that's only like a month long. And then if you're still having trouble finding people, just do another one. Don't set it up forever and just be like, eh, just audition whenever. Especially because most of the auditions will come in in the last 24 hours. So by doing this, you're missing out on most of the auditions you could be getting because they're, it's never going to come to the last 24 hours. So yeah, I'm not interested in anybody who uses that tactic. So we're going to get rid of that. Uh, 53 days is kind of pushing it. If it's more than a month, doesn't seem like a real, real deal. So, yeah, not going with that. I 
that's not a deal breaker, but titles like this, they're just like, voice actors and extras wanted. Yeah, dude, you posted it. Not on a voice acting board, obviously. Like, it's, that doesn't mean that it's a terrible project or anything, and it, I might audition for it still, but just be a little more descriptive. I know you don't want to give away your title, but at the same time, it's like, come on, man. It doesn't need to be that big a secret. <laughs> um, But, yeah, just, like, come up with something a little more descriptive than just, I need voice actors. Of course you do. That's why you're here. Uh, not personally into this. No, you know, shame for anybody who is. I just, uh, yeah, I'm not interested in being a part of that. Whoops. Uh, I mean, I'm not a fit anyways, but urgent call. That one also, like that, second round, not really interested. Adventures in Krovshia. Hmm. Not, but it, it, here's the thing. I'm going to get more into it when we actually look at the casting calls, but saying that you're not serious, I know what you mean, like, it's it's just for fun, but, like... I'm giving you my time and energy as an actor, and it's even just auditioning is like a decent amount of time and energy. So, like, I'd appreciate it if you could respect that and recognize, you know, saying that you're not serious or that you're not taking this serious. Come on, man. Not interested. Okay, that's the first crop we got here. So let's go through those. And then we'll continue back on the uh, search page. <coughs> Excuse me. Couldn't hold it in forever. Um, okay. So let's click this. Okay. Dead Link. Uh, the series is about a princess. This has to... Now... If you literally only have one sentence and you can't even do proper grammar, then you're not taking this seriously enough for me to give you my time. Uh, Machinima, short educational series. First they made. Needs, but yeah, we. It's a casting call. You don't need to say that you need help. It's it's assumed, guys. Just think about. Oh, give us information that's important. But overall, this is pretty well organized. That's just. Nitpick. Um, San Andreas. Uh, do, do, do. Few characters and extras are needed. Not pay. I mean, it's marked as unpaid, so you didn't need to say that. 17 plus, sure. Decent microphone. Yep. Uh, but that's totally fine. Uh, put your social media links. Yep. 
yeah, you already said first time you made a mission of a project, so let's see what the characters are. Female, male senior, what do we have? Posh British, right? Um, hmm. Nicest person in the city. He's old and he talks a little faster. I could do that, I think. What is this dialogue? Uh, I mean, it's not, there's not a ton of personality there, but that's, that's totally fine. So what's the deadline on this? The 31st. Uh, we will bookmark that. So what I do if I'm not going to audition immediately is I will tuck it into my audition folders, close it for now. And then I usually go and audition for those at least a couple days ahead because sometimes they cast the day of and you miss out. And, um, yeah, you want to be at least a day ahead, usually at least a couple because they're going to get swamped with a ton in those last 24 hours, like I said. So you want to give them a little time to actually, you know, enjoy what you did. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lux, Rich, uh, again, it, this, there's not enough details here. You didn't take the time. Your art looks cool, though. So maybe... Ah, but there's no parts for me. All female. Okay. That's unfortunate. That's the thing, is if, if it doesn't seem like you're taking it that serious, but then you do have original art, I'm like, well, maybe you just could have taken more time on the writing. If you drew stuff for it, that's enough work then, like you're taking it at least kind of serious and might actually finish this. Because that, that's the big thing, is I want projects that will actually get made. Because way too many of the ones I've actually gotten don't actually get made because they don't realize until they start, like, actually writing the script after casting. Oh, no. It's a lot of work. So, you know, no shade to be thrown. I get it. Like, you're passionate about the thing. You want to show what you do, and you're super excited. But slow your roll. Make sure you actually have the energy to write the script when the, the inspiration is not there. Once you have that done, then you cast. But that's that's a whole other discussion. Uh, emergency casting call. Nah, mm. No. Not into the emergency casting calls. Uh, Jovo Kaizo. Uh, broken link, which happens a lot. I think that's just something about the integration here on Casting Call Club. But, uh, as much as I'd love to help, to, you don't... This is unnecessary. Like, if you marked it as unpaid, we know it's unpaid. You don't need to apologize. We get it. Saying that, I wish I could pay you, it's like... Yeah, I should hope so. Um... Oh, okay, this is a FNAF thing. Uh, what's the art look like? Single piece of art. And they already cast somebody, so I am good. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I mean, they said English is their third language, so I don't blame them for having kind of rough grammar, but we gotta, you gotta get somebody who's got a grasp on it to edit for you. Cause like, if the dialogue isn't solid, that means that, what that means to me is that I'm going to have to do work to make sure that it actually, like, fits, and basically it's putting the editing onto me as the talent, which is, you know, uh, not something I'm interested in 
Uh, we'll put it that way. So, I'm out. Okay, education. Wow, okay, this is a pretty serious project. Fifteen hundred words. Uh oh, female. Couldn't do it anyways, but also fifty bucks an hour for instructional stuff, that's eh, not a great rate. So wouldn't have really wanted to do it anyways. That's the thing is like if you're paying like especially if it's for your business like that you should pay well cuz if you don't pay well you're only going to get the people who are willing to accept lower pay and they're usually inexperienced. So, if you're fine with that then good on you but you know that's just something you take on when you create a casting call like that. Okay, not a great start. Main character doesn't even have a description. Just like a ton of swearing. And stuff in the audition lines even. Eh... Yeah, not really interested in this one. Midwich Valley OCT. Original character tournament, yeah. Hmm. Seven minutes long. It's only going to be an animatic. I would. Here's my thing: make it just shorter, and do full animation. That that's just my suggestion, because anybody doing full animation is going to get way more attention than someone doing another animatic. Because animatics, they're not inconsequential amounts of work, but they're like not really as impressive. So. That's just my two cents. Uh, must be 18. Any mic. Yeah. Addition is many. Okay. Uh, I don't get this concept of the original character tournament. It's... it's it's just a contest. It's just a story contest. Like, you say original kit, but it's like you have to create multiple characters. You have to create a whole story, so it's like... I don't know why you're calling it original character tournament. I don't know. Seems, uh... Seems like an odd concept to me, but... If it's what you're passionate about, you do you. Uh, I mean... It's no less ridiculous than the actual, like, Hollywood process of pitching stuff and pilots and everything. So, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see how that works out. Um, single file. Mono, yep. Don't use effects. Pretty much never do, unless they specifically say they want to. Got till Monday. Uh... I mean, notify those who got the roles via this site. Yeah, hopefully you'll mark them as his cast. Um, hmm. High medium. That's right in my uh. Right in my range. At least thirty-four lines. More into lit. That's yep. That's acting. Uh. 
headcanon voice. I don't need a headcanon voice claim. Uh, this guy's Australian, which is another thing I could probably do, but we'll see. Uh, I like this art. Oh, oh, I like this guy. <laughs> What's he like? Hi, low pitch. Uh, wait, what? Like, he, he goes... He, like, he goes, like, from both. Like, there's high notes and low notes in there. Or is it more like... Low, but then higher low. So he's still kind of low, but he's like... Hmm, okay. Yeah, I like that guy, so I'll probably try out for him. Yeah, I don't know about this original character tournament concept, but I'm into this. I like the art and stuff. So this one, instead of bookmarking it, I'm just going to leave it. Um, and I will uh, be sure to audition for that today. If I really like something, and or I think it's going to like you know get filled really quick, uh, I will usually do it the day I find it. But if it's something that like a machinima or something that doesn't look like it's going to be crazy popular, I'll just tuck it away until closer to the deadline. Uh, please send me... Yep, they're looking for an animator. Oh, okay. The actor got cast already. Say something you think would fit. I hate when they do that, man. And it's just... What? It's all the... Like, all the options. What is this? I don't know. This project seems really weird. I could, like... That's the thing is, if you want me to improvise something, you have to give me an idea, like a description. Unless you want demos, then say you want a demo, because I could send that. Um, Goose Feathers Curse. Oh, they're not even going to send... I'd have to get the book myself? I'm not going to... I'm not going to pay to be in an un unpaid role that doesn't make any sense in my brain why would i invest in that if you're not gonna invest in me you know all right um bpm selection huh parappa i do like parappa Uh, I don't... They're doing the thing where it's like, what if a childlike character swore and talked like an adult? And it's... It can work, but there's a reason that South Park moved past that kind of humor because it's kind of a dead end. Um, so I'm not super into that. And I'm not a fit for her. Eh. This is a maybe. I'll I'll bookmark it for now. Cause I like the characters, but I don't necessarily like how they uh how they're portray portraying them. So we will save that for later. Make sure, yep, it's in there. Monster Hearts Podcast. Oh, it's a D&D, &D, or well, a tabletop RPG thing. I've not heard of Monster Hearts, but could be interesting. Ah, okay, they're trying to do a uh, critical role kind of thing. Just going all the way to January. I just, if we're going to do this... 
Yeah, it's like, why are you creating the characters for us? I guess just for the audition, but like, let me let me make my own character. If that's what we're doing. But yeah, I'm interested in that. That sounds like fun. So I will I will audition for that today. Whatever happens is happening. So didn't write the script yourself, which is usually not necessarily the biggest red flag. But often if you didn't even do the writing, what did you do? There's a lot of casting calls where it's like, I need animators and writers and editors and voice actors. And it's like literally every part of it. It's like, so why, why are you here? What are you doing? And the answer is usually, I came up with the idea. And it's like... Okay, lots of people can come up with ideas. Why Why do we really even need you in the equation? There was one where it was like, I want to do a Reddit reading channel. So I need voice actors and I need editors. And you guys will decide what you want to read. And so you find the post. So literally, we're reading someone else's content that's you're not editing that we have to find ourselves. So you're not doing anything. You're not even sor at, at the very least sourcing the posts that we're going to be using. So it's, it it's like, why do we need you? We could just do this without you entirely. I guess, I guess what you're here for is to collect all the ad revenue on the YouTube channel. So <sighs> if that's your hustle, if you can trick people into doing it with you, I guess, but I don't, I'm not part of that. Wait, Follows two classmates who connected due to their, I'm guessing that was supposed to be dissing, of the 2008 M. Night Shyamalan film The Happening, and come up with the challenge of rewriting the film. So it's a story about write, rewriting a different story. That's silly. I like that. Uh, project is unpaid. You will still get credited. I should hope so. That's the least you can do if you're not paying us, is credit us. <laughs> um, Asian, so not me. Hispanic, not me. African American, nope. Um, doesn't specify for Liam. Aha. Uh -huh. Ugh. These guys are pretty vile. I mean, they're villains, but yeah, this line. He's not part of God's vision. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's acting, but I don't know if I'd be comfortable. Comfortable performing that. See, yeah, or then something like this. Where they're like, he has a single line. You know, just extras. It's like, if it's only a line... Just have your actors who you hire for the bigger roles do it. Hopefully they have enough range that they can do a single line that sounds, you know, different than themselves. I don't know. If, if I do one of these, one of my requirements is, like, if there are extras, we will ask you to do an extra line or two. So, it, it's, I just, that just makes sense. Like, why wouldn't I, you know, these are non-union, so we're not limited to that. Although I'm not going to go crazy and be like, if you do like 30 extra lines, it's like, no, I'll do like one or two. But uh, yeah, yeah, this sounds fun, but there's not really any parts for me in here. Yeah, so I'm out. Hmm, werewolves. nurse cool yeah i appreciate the detail of the story but i'd like some details on what you need from me as an actor so maybe those are in the google doc why did you <laughs> oh my god why would you highlight this in red that's so hard to read 
So, okay, that's the script. I don't need the whole script. Yeah. Uh, great. Well, I guess I didn't want to copy and paste any of the lines, so let's just look at the breakdowns. Oh, they're looking for impressions. Yeah, I'm out. I, I'm just not an impression person. And that's the thing, is I'm sure that they would be open to other voices, but it's like by saying that, it's like, I'm just out, because I don't know if you want to hear my take on it, which won't sound like that, or if you specifically just want an impression of that, which I can't do. So I'm not going to waste my time with this many auditions to look through. Uh, Sonic game. We know Sonic. Help preform the characters. Good mic quality, confidence. Yeah. Be an actor. Be available. Got it. Um. Record aud additional lines that. Why would I contact you in the DMs? I'll just include it in my audition file. Uh, it's a game. New listing with the side... Come on, man. Just put all of the characters in one listing. Yeah. Uh, Eggman. Uh, either interpretation. So, again, they're looking for an impression. So, I'm out. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. SRB2 cart. No usable voice clips. None? Really? Hmm. See what you mean with that. Let's... Victor. Oh, okay, so it's it's characters who weren't playable. Gotcha. Well, here they say accent and tone. I can I can replicate accents. Some creature noises. I do want to work on my creature noises. Okay, this will be one that I auditioned for today. It's, this is not enough information. Like, I know that you're trying to keep things secretive, but it's like, I need to know other things just on the technical side. And everybody's cast already, so not even going to bother. No description. Can't even put in that effort, then why do I think you're going to finish it? Uh... Indie animated dark fantasy superhero and comedy series. Announced on November 8th. Started production and you didn't cast yet. Okay. January 4th. Hmm. Producer, animator, writer. Yeah. See what I mean? Director, writer, animator, producer, music. It's like, what are you doing? What What are you doing in this? You're not writing it. You're not directing it. You're not animating it. Like, why? I don't know. It's like, if you can't do any part of the process, then why... Are you trying to do the process? You know? Like, I'm not saying that... I'm not trying to gatekeep or anything, but it's like... You should do at least one thing in your project... Other than, you know, have the idea. Like, write or direct or something. At least, like, assistant direct. 
animated Indiana Jones video posted on YouTube. Sure. And it's already fully cast, so I'm out. Lesbian love story. Uh, not a gotcha series. Okay. Mm, okay, okay, art's pretty cool. Eh. It looks like they're just trying to amass extra people, so they're not completely hands-off with this. Uh, I'm not much of a fan of the writing, though, so I'm, I'm good. This is n not a great sign, the quality of art here. Oasis of Jupiter is a series for directed by myself, and she knows she's created and designed by Mine Yoshizaki, who lived in Melbourne from Australia. You can't even come up with three lines, not a real character. If you can't come up with three lines for your character, they're not actually a character yet, and you need to flesh them out more before you cast. Um, at least if you're doing it this way. I mean, if you're if you're paying people, then do whatever. But, like, if you want to get people interested, you need to really... Because we're just donating our time, so you need to show that, you know, it's worth it. <laughs> That you have, like, actual characters with personality and everything that we care about. A uh, vertical slice for a dark fantasy romance visual novel called Moments of Inertia for the Winter Game Jam. Mashup between Blush Blush, Twilight, and Fifty Shades of Grey. That's quite a combo. Uh, okay. I'm interested. Audio... I mean, you should certainly record between negative 20 and negative 10, but you want it to stay there? Because I'll... T okay, I'll normalize it to negative 10. If that's what you really want, that's going to be really quiet. Um, uh, based on Christian Grey, sure. So he's he's from the UK... Based on Christian Grey, I'm guessing from the books and not the movies. So they don't want the classic vampire voice. They want the British thing. But, uh, yeah. Werewolf. Okay, yeah. Cool art interesting characters i'll come back around to that i don't know if i'm necessarily a fit but we'll we'll kind of look at the story and try and we'll see what i can do uh right this was one so let's oh and let me actually turn on the desktop so you guys can hear fire air ice earth light dark oh god it's so water. loud these elements each had a realm and an artifact. The people, greedy for power, searched for the artifacts, of which had the strength to take the unknown realm. Up until a century ago, a select few were suddenly gifted powers from the elemental artifacts and in return took care of the realms. Thus, they became known as the Elemental Warriors. Nope, it's a gotcha club thing. Ah! See what I mean? Keeping it vague like this, like, if it's a gotcha thing, then when I finally see that it's a gotcha thing, it's like, gotcha! Manipulated you. Um, so yeah, I'm out. I don't want to do any gotcha club stuff. Wish they had put that... Wish they had put that in the actual, uh... Title, so it would have filtered out. Wasting my dang time. All right. Fiction podcast, time travelers, terrible truth. Huh. 
That sounds nice. The art doesn't matter as much because it's a podcast. Oh, looks like they're only cast in one character, African American, so not for me. Good luck to whoever does try out for that. Clams 2 is a remake and sequel to Clams. An obscure video may be made by me close to half a year ago. 3D animated film retelling the events. Well, where's where's Clams 1? I'm not going to search it out because I don't know if I'm even going to go for it, but, like, could have linked Clams in here and we could have watched it. Let's see what you're all about. No art, which you say it's animated and that you've already worked on it, so... Seems like you should have a little art. Uh, normally wouldn't go out for a female adult, but I'm seeing like smoker, raspy. I can do that. I can I can do a middle-aged smoker lady. You know, it's it's a little bit of something something there. Um, early thirties. Uh, yeah, not really giving me much here. It's it's just a lot of, like, facts. Just, like, this is what's happening. This is what happened. Not a lot of personality there. And that's already cast. Uh, yeah, I'm not really interested in that. Uh, another FNAF one that slipped through. Let's see. Well, they already cast the main guy. Only single lines. Doesn't feel like they're putting in much effort. Here's the thing. Some characters are only going to be a single line, but like for the audition, at least come up with like a couple lines that they could say. Because if it's just a single line, like a little more. A little more would be helpful. Uh, Zarek the Dog, SFM... Voice actors, modelers. Based around the concept of having no choice to be forced into a role. What will a villain do? So, like, some Mega Mind stuff? Oh, based on a Jack Septic guy thing. I'm not super familiar with his. with his non, like, actual Let's Play stuff. I do like Jack Septic guy, but. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this. FNAF, sure. Uh, Jackie Boy, man. Eh, maybe. I think that's a maybe. I'll put it into the, uh, yeah, December 17th. I will bookmark that for later. Do I have a, I don't have a 17th yet. Come back around to that. Wait. Right, it doesn't let you move them in there. Uh, ooh, and since, yeah, the 9th is tomorrow, I'm going to need to, let's open that up to check in on if I still want to do that. Tenth. Yeah, let's just check this one, too. Give myself a little space. Um. Yeah, so we're going to save this one for later. And for right now, uh, I'm going to take a quick break, hit the bathroom. So y'all, go stretch your legs and such, but we'll be back in just a minute to uh, vet some more of these auditions.
Okay, I am back. Uh, I didn't realize how long this was taking. I do have something I gotta do it too. Like it's it's a appointment, so we're gonna get through these and then maybe. Yeah, maybe a couple. Yeah, we'll go through and open up a few more, I think. But uh, I gotta, I gotta keep moving. I gotta be able to start recording at noon, which is about thirty-seven minutes away. So we should be good. Um, okay. Uh, oop. Reopen the desktop. All right. Play. Broken. So this is a Danganronpa thing. The art is not bad. You know, it's not exactly Danganronpa, but it's not a problem. I can dig it. Um, also apologies if you're hearing background noise. I got a fan in here because it is pretty warm. About 79 degrees. Yay, Georgia. Um, okay. Has finished stuff before, so that's a good sign. Uh, small bio... Okay, okay. So you can go with your own stuff. Thanks for saying that. I, yep. Yeah. See, this is something I was saying to the mods in some feedback I was sending is, uh, like, stuff like this. Like, oh, I appreciate everything, but don't get offended if I don't choose you. That should go without saying, which is, you know, one of the signs that this is probably not a super experienced casting person. And that's fine. Like, this is not a necessarily professional space like professionals might come here and do stuff and cast stuff but the majority of people here are amateurs and that's cool but also we should encourage through the design of the site people to you know kind of improve themselves more towards a professional level they don't have to be professional but you know we can at least help them figure out the best practices a little easier rather than having to be kind of redundant so, yeah, no shade on anybody, but just something I've noticed about the design. Uh, voice reference. Okay, we're not looking for a... We're not looking for a... Impression, so that's fine. Where they're from and the accent they have. They are... Optional accents, okay. Uh, same ethnicity, save your trans, okay. Discord tag. Okay, now let's look at the characters. Nope, nope, mm, nope, nope. Maybe. Eh. No. Oh. Daniel Basel. Oh, he's Icelandic, so it'd be the more of a... Oh, my Nordic accent isn't great. Mm, but it is optional. He's the oldest. Definitely looks it. Is her deep voice? Oh, it's like a Bob Ross, like a a soft, a soft kind of thing, right? That's that's the thing people forget with Bob Ross is that his voice isn't just like a soft little trees. Like he was a kind of a hippie guy, but he was he was you know kind of deeper and gruff and rural, but he was soft with it. Hmm. So that's a maybe. Ultimate Miniature Modeler. Oh, actually, yeah, I do really like this guy. Okay, so I'm going to make that a yes. I will audition for that. And I'll look at the other characters. Oh, looks like a duplicate. Yeah, this is just a duplicate. It's sometimes the new Project Search does that. It's not a big deal. Uh, Codename, 1985. FNAF fan game. Uh, try to keep this listing open. I don't like that.
Uh, nah, I'm already not super big on the FNAF stuff, but I'd give it a shot if it was cool. Ahoy, cowboy! Magical time period between 1700s and 1800s. Cowboys and pirates. Okay, I like that. The art looks cute. Um. Okay, I was getting a little nervous about the this part of the name, but it's Alert Archer, so that's just the font. Makes it look like a, a D there, which is... Ugh. But that's fine, that's fine. I misread it. Mm. Uh, superpowers. Curse to be superpowered. My powers are my curse. Okay, uh... -huh. So yeah, it's some pirates meeting some cowboys. I like it. Uh, no explicit stuff. Great. Uh, provocative content. I'm okay with that. But reference it. Yep. Okay. So it'll be in the the comedy and stuff. I gotcha. Nothing explicit in gore. Will be plenty of violence. Morally gray. So it is a not safe for work thing. Romance, sure. Trauma, yep. You gotta have a little trauma. I mean, everybody's experienced some amount of trauma. So it's important to write it into your characters in one way or another. Uh, problematic language. Ooh. Okay, well... They they say they'll work around it, so I I'm glad that they include that because I if it fits the character, I don't mind swearing and sometimes 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 slurs can fit the character enough and the story can be important enough, like with the boondocks, right? A lot of white actors saying the N word in that story in that show, but they're being, you know, the show was being created by black creators and they were doing so very intentionally to make a point. So it can work, but it makes me nervous, right? Because there's a lot of responsibility to using that kind of language in a script. So um, that being said, let's see if they give us uh, Mexican. So not gonna be that. Chilean, Mexican, nope. French. Uh, so they're looking for something that kind of... Okay, something kind of androgynous, kind of shifts between male and female. Spaniard. So he has a Spanish accent. Um, right. That That's one that makes me a little nervous too, right? The Spanish accent, because it can get pretty close to like Mexican accents and stuff. And while Spain is a colonizing force and it's mostly white people, you know, doing the accent, uh, it, it, there's a lot of responsibility in doing any kind of accent. So uh, that being said, this... I will call him maybe. I don't necessarily want to do it on stream because I want to be really careful about how I approach that if I do it. So I will save that for another time. But yeah, that's one that, that has promise. But I don't think... I mean, I don't want to shrug any of these off, right? Any audition is a chance to perform and you shouldn't treat any as like a throwaway, but... You know, gotta be, gotta be careful. Um, camp project, camp in Colorado. Mystery. This project is unpaid unless it becomes popular, and I actually end up getting paid. Again, I I I would hope that that's assumed, but yeah, appreciate you clarifying. December 17th, Kyle. Kyle's a jokester. Uh, 
Nah, they already cast most of the people. I'm out. Don't like when they cast early. Studebaker's Insane Life, no description. I'm out. Cosmic Eevee. <laughs> Okay, unnecessary. Really didn't tell me much. Um, they already cast at least one. Yeah, see, lines like this. If you're going to put in a line, like, make sure that it says a lot about the character. Just doing that, like, yeah, all these lines are super short. Show, like, no character, so I'm not, I'm not interested. Um, the art could be better, but that's not really a problem if the writing is good. Uh, dub series, I mean, that's, they mean, like, comic dub, so I'm okay with that. I don't want to do, like, lip sync. That's too much work for no money, you know? Short deadline. Uh, oh, okay, this female young adult can't do that. Uh, at least not yet. I'm working on it. Uh, the first episode, we were in by you. Transformers, robots in disguise, single line. Uh, yeah, that's not... These aren't real lines. Let's check this place out. Split up. Hands where we can see. This This tells me nothing about the character. Which, again, if this was like a professional thing, I would take the time and I would find it. You know, I'd find whatever character and story is there. But in this case, no thanks. That's too much work for something that's not paid, you know? I, if it If it's vibrant enough and like a big enough, interesting enough story, then I'll give it a shot. But, like, if I'm having to do a ton of work to make the character be a character, uh, yeah, it's just not something I have the time to do, unfortunately. Nam Humanum. Alien Swan... Okay, so it's... So it's a mod of a game. Ah. Sorry, I'm so focused on the stream, I keep forgetting to drink water. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Um... Oh, they want, like, Butcher from the... Okay. Um... They want a Cockney. Right. They want some sort of Cockney thing that's really deep down there. I mean, I could give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah, I think I can do that. Um... Sure, I'll put that in the running. Then let's look at the ones that I had saved. Halo Reach slash Infinite Machinima series. Alternate Universe. Um, okay, this is only partially cast. Lenny. Vapor. Uh, yeah, I need to just pick a character here, so, dead inside, hmm, maybe, um, hmm, 
Maybe tech. Doft. Eh. Oh, they're looking for... Okay. I think I'll go for... Vapor and Tech. Those sound like a fun, fun characters. And... Now, oh, is this a Sims thing? I don't really want to do any Sims stuff, but let's... Let's give it a look. Some kind of mystery drama... Clear mic, show emotion, yeah, work. Do the job. Um, social medias are a must. So Discord at the very least. Uh, don't be homophobic. Thanks. I wasn't going to be a problem, but you know. Uh, oh. Don't really uh, use the save role function anymore, so I must have... Uh, must have bookmarked this a long time ago. Uh, yeah, I'll try out for Amor. Or no, he's probably Hispanic with a name like that. Maybe it wouldn't be appropriate. Uh, yeah, I'll try out for Owen. Sounds good. All right, so now the next step, I would go through the other auditions, but yeah, we're running low on time, so. Uh, now I'm going to look through and I'm going to decide which characters I'm going to do. So definitely going to try out for Guy. Uh, uh, maybe Diedrich. Definitely Bean. I love this guy. I want to be him. I want to be him, but all right. Right, right, right. I mean, I still know what they mean by high-low pitch, but I'll just figure that out later. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go for Guy. Maybe Diedrich. Definitely Bean. Um... Right, I'm just going to try one of these. Do we want to go nerdy guy or do we want to go popular guy? Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the angsty one. The nerd is in my wheelhouse, but let's let's challenge ourselves today. Oh yeah, and I want to do land shark for sure. Um, and real quick, just for fun, let's listen to what everybody else has done for him. Hum, 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 hum. Ray, ray, That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Then Ross K, he's usually pretty good. Hey, 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 hey. Seems kind of edited. I think it's just modulation from the uh, 
compression CCC does. Maybe a little much, but that's silly. Definitely fits the tone. A little much. Yeah, I personally wouldn't... I think this guy's a better fit, but... uh, Those are funny. That definitely fits the tone, so... These all have effects on them. I'm going to leave a comment on that, actually, and just let him know. Uh, you should have more confidence in yourself. Yeah. Just going to say, like... The unedited takes, these sound great. L listen to that. Whoops. Come on, play it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. He didn't need to edit that at all with the, uh. <laughs> like that doesn't sound bad with the editing, but it's it doesn't seem that necessary. He already sounded really cool. <laughs> Those are okay. I think he should have backed away from the mic a little bit. That ended up being kind of loud. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm going to try out for that because that sounds really fun. Uh, and then... What do I want to do with this? We got pretty much two. No, we got all three options. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go with one. Maybe I should do both leads. Yeah, I'm going to try out for both because this project looks really cool. Um, I'm going back and forth on this one, actually. Hmm. You know, ah. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to take on a date. I had a bad experience with the Danganronpa project recently. Not that that one necessarily looks like it's bad or anything. It's just not my jam. Right, well, this is the one they want to sound like Billy Butcher from The Boys. So you could do Deep Cockney. My well, Deep Cockney is not super deep, but it should be all right for this. It's definitely gravelly, which is what they want. Um, okay. Then we were gonna do Vapor and Tech for this one. Already picked that out. And, yeah, I'm gonna try out for Owen, I think. Okay, so that's... That's seven auditions, which is a bit on the high side, especially because I want to do a couple of them in there, but, uh... That... I think we'll do it for today. Day. So let's let's cue it up. So we got to open up audition, obviously, to actually record. Um, and I'm gonna turn down because I saw it being pretty loud before. I should be drinking more water. 
feeling pretty dry. Okay. So yeah, now open up audition and we're just gonna open up files. Nope. Sorry, force a habit. We're gonna open up files. Midwich Valley OCT underscore. So you do project name, unless it says something otherwise. Uh, oh, yep. Okay, no project name. But character name and my name. So Guy Iggy Kid and Diedrich Iggy Kid and it yeah, whoops forgot to open a new file uh, ging member to bean iggy kit okay so those ones are lined up then we go to the next one we all wear masks Nothing about the file naming. Popular guy. I'm not going to write the whole thing because, you know, popular guy is unique enough. Then this is Crash Bandicoot. I'm going to use a dash because colons do not work in the file names. SRB2 cart. And I believe the name was Landshark, right? Landshark. Iggy Kid. Moments of inertia. And I'm going with Maledict. He can, or oh, I should double check. Terrible, terrible about double checking this. Specific format, nope. Okay. And moments of inertia. Amadeus. He could. Okay. Then next after that. Alien. What? Well, Alien Swarm Survival. Any specific thing about the formatting? Okay, and it's a uh, gauntlet master Iggy Kid. Okay, and this is the Slayer Squad. Everybody get ready for the Slayer Squad. Do, 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 do. Um, must have Discord. Yes, yes. We're going to go Vapor. And we're going to go Tech. And I'm going to leave a note... I usually leave a note of just like, hey, if you want me to audition for anybody else, let me know. Then I will, if they ask. Uh, untold. Children of Cherish. The character, I believe, was Owen. Oh, let me double check. Any formatting? Nope. Okay. Owen, 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 Owen. Oh, and there it is. Okay. So now we're all locked in. Ready to record. Now, you got to check. You got to... Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to uh, go off of my, my training that I've been getting. Um, I've been getting coaching with Richard Horvitz, so I'm not going to go into too much detail because a lot of this is, you know, the stuff he teaches. So I would recommend, if you have any interest in voice acting, even just, like, knowing, like, am I cut out for this? Like, 
give uh, Richard Horvitz classes a shot. He's a great teacher. Um, but yeah, I gotta figure out how to uh, how to uh, do this the right way here. Such. Just kind of reading through the lines a few times and applying uh, some f different perspective on each one. Okay, I'm gonna turn down. Uh, I'm gonna turn down my gain a little bit, which means I'll sound quieter to you guys as well. But I don't want to blow out the mic while recording this. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna look. See if there's anything specific they ask for in the brief. Okay. Turn off my fan so that it doesn't ruin the audio quality. And here we go. Whoops. I think actually I have the wrong mic selected. No, that's... Yeah, that's correct. Okay, we're good. Then ah, Turn it down even a little bit more. So I might be a bit quiet for a minute. Hey, is there any chance I could get a lawyer or something? Hey, is there any chance I could get a lawyer or something? Oh my god, a human! You have to help me. These guys are trying to kill me! Oh my god, a human. You have to help me. These guys are trying to kill me. And you're fine with that? How can anyone stand this place when there are monsters everywhere? And you're fine with that? How can anyone stand this place when there are monsters everywhere? Okay. That felt good. Um, And then, yeah, we're gonna just do a quick noise removal. Uh, whoops. Then I'm gonna grab a little five seconds. Whoops. Is that yeah, that's correct. Silent five seconds. Or point five uh wait, no, yeah, I want point five seconds. What am I doing? Ah excuse me, point five. There we go. We want just like half a second. Cause sometimes when you're uploading stuff or with the player it'll kinda cut off a little bit at the front and the back. So you want to leave a little bit of room if you have the option. Uh, and then I like to normalize. I have it set to N. I normalize each line separately so that it's fairly even. And then I hit it with a uh, pretty standard compressor. Hey, is there any chance I could get a lawyer Something? Hey, is there any chance like lawyer or something? Uh, yeah, a little lip smack there. Let's, oops, hit the wrong button. A little lip smack there, cut that out. Thing. Guys are trying to kill me! Oh, my. oh, some noise in there. Kill me! And you're, oh, bump the table. And you're fine with that? How can anyone stand this place when there are monsters everywhere? Well, lip smack there. Everywhere. And you're fine. You don't have to, like, clean it up perfectly, but you want to, you know, get get the big things like lip smacks and maybe, like, a little, like, step or something hey, that you is missed. There any chance I could get a lawyer or something? Oh, my God, a human. You have to help me. These guys are trying to kill me. Okay, um... Yep, and then we will toss that into CCC. Then I'll remove that to save on CPU. And then we will submit. So.
browse. Um, yes, there it is. I clean it out every month, so I haven't really auditioned yet. This month, I have a few projects that I'm a part of already, so. Uh, so yeah, this is my standard message. Thank you so much for the opportunity. My Discord is Iggy the Kid. Hashtag five five four one. Please let me know if you need anything else from me, or if you'd like me to try out for any of the other characters. Then I will copy that. And we're ready and uploaded. Oops. I made a mistake. This is a small thing with Casting Call Club. For whatever reason, uh, the wave files get kind of weirdly modulated, so you got to make sure to upload an MP3. There we go. That should be better. And it's loading up. And we'll listen. Hey, is there any chance they could get a lawyer or something? Okay. Yeah, that feels good. And then we bookmark it to submitted. Because I like to check in on the ones I've submitted on later. Because they don't always, you know, go through and officially cast everybody, but they'll be like, hey, you got it, or something. Um, So yeah, I have, I have all the ones that I plan to audition for sorted by the deadline. Uh, this is just like different roster forms that I'm going to submit to when I get my new character demo made sometime beginning of next year. Uh, these are ones I've submitted to. These are ones that have been stalled out for more than a month past the deadline. These are the ones I've been cast in, and these are the ones that I've finished, recorded, been accepted, all of that. Uh, so, that was Guy. So now we're moving on to Diedrich. So let's see. Okay, then let's see. May look human, but it's actually 143 ravens that can shapeshift. Hmm, that's fun. Laid back, tough love, whatever. Medium low, Australian. I mean, that's no problem. Uh, he's a gravel. Mostly shows up when he's angry or serious. Uh, oh, so like sniper or bunny mund. From the Rise of the Guardians. So it's sort of Hugh Jackman y, right? But uh, a little more, a little more gravel sometimes. Right, right, okay. Okay, uh. Let's do it. Mate, if you wanted safety, then you could have stayed in your cell. Mate, if you wanted safety, then you could have stayed in your cell. You think going at each other's throats because of some bloody execution game is going to solve your problems? You think going at each other's throats because of some bloody execution game is going to solve your problems? <laughs> no wonder those blokes called you crazy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no wonder those blokes called you crazy. Yeah, sure. Okay, that felt pretty good. Ooh, actually, I should. Looks like somebody, and I kind of heard it. Somebody was driving outside, so we gotta hit that with a little extra noise removal juice. There we go, cleaned. If you wanted safety. I keep getting a little too close to my mic. I need to work on my technique, because it's super convenient to just get... Very nice and sexy and deep, really close. But when I'm doing character work, I want it to sound a little cleaner. So I need to I need to work on that when I'm doing auditions. 
Um, especially with this mic, it like really juices up the voice with a lot of love that sexy proximity effect. Uh, all right, normalizing everything. There's a little lip smack there. Oh. Silence that. There's a big breath here. But after laughing, you kind of expect it. Let's just listen. <laughs> oh, on to those blokes called sh Sounds a little weird if you don't have it there. All right, and then hit that compressor. Mate, if you wanted safety, then you could have stayed in your cell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then we got that. Then we will submit the audition. Just paste in that same form response. Unless they ask for something specific, that's pretty much what I always do. Yeah, it gets all the information across. Mate, if you wanted safety, then you could have stayed in your cell. And now we go to Bean. My big boy, Bean. I love him. I love him so much. Please, let me be him. I, yeah, I have th thoughts two separate ways here. It says high-low pitch, so... My my instinct is to go... <laughs> kind of thing, right? But it says, sounds like a gremlin, so maybe I should go a bit more like this. Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That could work. I don't know. I, don't, I, I think I'm getting a little too voice-oriented with that so um let's go with let's just play let's just play with it i'm i'm thinking too hard i need to just let it happen uh, hold on i'm not using the original cable that's built into this mic stand so i have to have it strapped down and it can be it's kind of slips and gets annoying uh 1206 we got plenty of time i'm i'm good till 2 pretty sure Right? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yep, yeah, and I got something I gotta do before that appointment, but that should be fine. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just play around. Let's do a few takes here. What the F did this guy say to you? What the F did this guy say to you? Then he starts talking all crazy like about how everyone. Then he starts talking all crazy like about how everyone's gonna kill him or something. Then he starts talking all crazy like about how everyone's gonna kill him or something. What the F did this guy say to you? What the F did this guy say to you? Then he starts talking all crazy like about how everyone's gonna kill him or something. Then he starts talking all crazy like about how everyone's gonna kill him or something. Okay, added a couple of different voices in there. I love I love the look of him, but because I love him so much, I think I'm I'm getting a little too in my head. Starting to try it. I'm starting to think about like, oh, what did they want? It's like, no, 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 don't think about that. Just have fun. Then he start. Then he starts talking all crazy like about. All crazy like about how everyone's gonna kill him or something. Some lip smacks in there. Oh, yeah, and then we'll normalize each line separately. What the f? Didn't really keep consistent with that, but that's fine. Can work on it a little more if I, uh, you know, get the, I, it's fine, it's fine. 
What the F did this guy say to you? You? Okay, and... Saving that. Exploring is an MP3. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, and because I include... I say ideas, it's takes. It should it should be takes. But if I say takes, then they're gonna be like, oh, just multiple of the same four. So I gotta be I gotta be clear because takes has kinda gotten watered down as a term online. What the F did this guy say to you? Maybe I should get on with a different take. You know what? I'm getting too far into my own head. Alright. Now we're going to go with the popular guy turned angsty. Different project. Different tone. Excuse me. Pull T. A little water. Mouth's getting kind of dry. Okay. Uh, yeah. Please have some sort of mic. How am I recording it if I don't have a mic? Come on. Come on. Think this through. I'm just kidding. The ghosts of this town speak to all of us. You just don't shut up long enough to hear them. The ghosts of this town speak to all of us. You just don't shut up long enough to hear them. I'm not in that crowd anymore. It's in the past. What I'm trying to say is, I'm sorry how I acted back then, okay? I'm not in that crowd anymore. It's in the past. What, what I'm trying to say is, I'm sorry how I acted back then, okay? Can I get a crumb of serotonin, please? Can I get a crumb of serotonin, please? Okay, that felt good. Uh, the ghosts of this town's... The ghosts of... I always kind of throw away the the at the beginning of a line. Instead of being the ghosts of this town... It's always like, the ghosts of this town. Gotta work on that. Gotta do the normalizing. Uh, uh, looks like I got a little, little smacky, a little lip smacky over here. In the past. What, what? Oh, no, no, that's when I was doing that. Okay. Cool, we're good. All right. And export that. Give them the bit here. And submit, and then bookmark to submitted. Good, good, good. 12-12, we got plenty of time. The ghosts of this town speak to all of us. You just don't shut up long enough to hear them. Cool. Uh, I'm going to come back around to Land Shark, because that might be a bit rough on the old cords. So we're going to go with Maledict. Obviously, the first thing you think, you think of the Dracula, the blah, blah, blahs, you know, but it says UK, so they want it a bit different, and they want it to be more Christian Grey, so they want, you know, more like what Jamie Dornan would have sounded like if he was still doing it, his British accent when he spoke in the film. Um, it, it's, you know, upper class, it's a bit posh, so I think that this should be good, of course, maybe a bit deeper than that. We're at certain times, but regardless, let me 
read through the uh, story. Okay. The, the posh, right. Tell me, Miss Crit, have you heard of Bellinor's armor or Lady Seville's cloak? Tell me, Miss Crit, have you heard of Bellinor's armor or Lady Seville's cloak? Ah, yes, indeed. The measurements. If that were the case, I could have simply written and sent them over to save you the trip. Ah, yes, indeed. The measurements. If that were the case, I could have simply written and sent them over to save you the trip. Your expression tells me this is a surprise? Your expression tells me this is a surprise. Yeah, my posh English accent's not super strong, but... I think it should be just fine. And, yeah, let's normalize. And compress. Ah, yes, indeed. There is a lip smack there, but it kind of fits the line, so I'm going to leave it. Let's cloak. Ew, that one sounds gross, though. Let's get it. Keep in the three. The two is my Lady Seville's cloak. The two is my uh, usual thing for silencing. All right. And let's send that on over. Ooh, it's getting warm in here. Tell me, Miss Crit, have you heard of Bell? And that's submitted, but we're still going to do another one here. Amadeus. Okay. Huh. The new girl. Just stay out of my way. Huh? The new girl? Just stay out of my way. You're gonna have to train yourself if you plan to use the loom. You're gonna have to train yourself if you plan to use the loom. You? <laughs> Forget about it. You! You! Forget about it. Yeah, probably could have done better with the accent there, but I think it still felt pretty solid in terms of the actual story to it. Whoops. Wrong button. Normalize. That's what I want. Boom. Compress. Huh. The new girl. Just stay out of my way. Eh. Eh. Open. Amadeus, Amadeus. Amadeus. Huh. The new girl. Okay. And we're gonna do the Gauntlet Master. So they want Billy Butcher. Which I can do. But let's make sure we understand the story before we get into that love.
Okay, and we're gonna do uh we're gonna do the Billy Butcher. And we're going to do we're gonna do a Scottish. I think that should do pretty well with this one as well. Laxity. That's the worst enemy. Own these skills. Show me your marines. Laxity. That's the worst enemy. Laxity. That's the worst enemy. Hone these skills. Show me your marines. Swarm done. Keep at it, and you might even earn yourself a race. Swarm done. Keep at it, and you might even earn yourself a race. Since I'm such a softy for you bunch, I've unlocked another ammo station. Since I'm such a softy for you bunch, I've unlocked another ammo station. Scottish, right? Laxity! That's the worst enemy. Hone these skills. Show me your marines. Laxity. That's the worst enemy. Hone these skills. Show me your marines. Swarm done. Keep at it. You might even earn yourself a raise. Swarm done. Keep at it. And you might even earn yourself a raise. Since I'm such a softy for you bunch, I've unlocked another ammo station. Since I'm such a softy for you bunch, I've unlocked another ammo station. Cool. Yeah, feeling good about that. And, uh, right. Laxity. That, and then shortened the little. Since I'm such a softy for you bunch. Scottish, right? Cut that out. Laxity! Little outtake. And then we'll normalize. A lot of takes on that one. Compressed. Laxity. That's the worst enemy. Then save it, export it, and upload it. And I'm going to cut out the thing about other characters because there are no other characters. And while it's not, not uncommon to have, you know, sort of stock response, it's good to at least kind of stay present to the uh, particular project. Laxity. That's the worst enemy. All right. Then we got Vapor. Let me get some water. Okay, here we go. You weren't expecting that, were you? Well, guess what? I'm full of surprises. You weren't expecting that, were you? Well, guess what? I'm full of surprises. The Covenant calls me a demon. For all they know, I could be Satan himself. The Covenant calls me a demon. For all they know, I could be Satan himself. If I end up blowing myself up, I'm going to be very unhappy. If I end up blowing myself up, I'm going to be very unhappy. I know it says dead inside, and that makes you think, like, he should be monotone. But, like, you got to add a little personality. If I end up blowing myself up, And we 
just normalize all of these. Compress. I don't see any, like, lip. Oh, wait, there's one. Self up. I'm going to be... Maybe there. Guess what? Guess what? Uh, oop, over here? Is that... It's hard to tell, but I'll silence it to be safe. I think I hear the trash truck outside, but these are... These are auditions, so a tiny, 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 tiny bit of background noise is not a problem. You don't want to have above, like, negative 50 at the most. Hopefully under negative 60 if you can manage. But yeah, as little as possible. You weren't expecting that, were you? And then tech. Gotta give him... All right. Our job is to kill anything that moves. Our job is to kill anything that moves. You were hoping for this to be a quick death. I can feel it within you. Unfortunately, the Reaper tasked me with claiming your soul. The Reaper tasked me with claiming your soul. You were hoping for this to be a quick death. I can feel it within you. Unfortunately, the Reaper tasked me with claiming your soul. You've got five seconds to run before I make you run. You've got five seconds to run before I make you run. That's a tough one. These, these strong silent types, these dead inside, like the... There's a lot of subtlety there. It's a fun challenge, unfortunately. The Reaper... Oops. The Reaper tasked me with claiming your soul. All right, normalize. You were hoping... Unfortunately... Okay, save, export, close it out, submit, yeah, I really wanted to get those auditions done before I did the uh, land shark one because that one's Gonna rough me up a little bit, probably. Our job is to kill anything that moves. Owen, this is one I'm, like, back and forth on. Everything is fine. I'm going to go with a, a bit of a, you know, doesn't specify the accent, so we'll, we'll go with that. And in fact, this will be kind of quiet. So let me crank up the gain a little bit. Ah. Oh, all right, all right. I'll go pay our resident brooder a visit and pass on the news, per usual. Uh, oh, all right, all right. I'll go pay our resident brooder a visit and pass on the news, per usual. Honestly, don't the bland walls ever get boring to look at? <laughs> Might I suggest directing that soulless gaze of yours out the window once in a while, dear brother? You know, switch things up a bit. Honestly, don't the bland walls ever get boring to look at? 
<laughs> Might I suggest directing that soulless gaze of yours out the window once in a while, dear brother? You know, switch things up a bit. There is no wrong in this. I am simply right. There is no wrong in this. I am simply right. All right, I hope that doesn't come off as stereotypical. It can be kind of tricky with those sort of high-class, light voices. You know, you don't want it to come off as, like, offensively f effeminate or anything. On the news, per usual. Per usual. Honestly, don't the bland walls ever get boring to look at? Boring to look at? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wonder why that's what I interpreted hum to be. I don't know. There is no wrong in this. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, crank those up. Oh. Simply right. The breath was a little loud there. Normalize, 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 and normalize. Ah. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, and... Submitted. Ah. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we're gonna do Land Shark for funsies. So we're gonna turn the gain pretty far down. I think that sounds about, we want a little more water to it, maybe? Although, land shark, right? He'd be a little dried out, so. Yeah, I think we'll be good with that, so let's give it a shot. It's turned way down so that I don't blow out the mic. No, not quite a chomp. Okay, I think that's good. Let's, uh, yeah, let's edit that together. Whew. Uh, nope, that's the wrong one. Or shift P, yeah. Nope, I did the wrong button. No, not quite a chomp. Okay, there's our chomp. Uh, cut that one, it's a little weak. And compress. human but you know sorry I almost moved that out of the way because usually when I save I'm on my own and I just uh, push it out of the way okay I think that is a take this is fun enough so yeah let's do this who it's about 84 degrees in here so I gotta end the stream and go cool down for a bit Okay, and that'll do it.
obviously there's a lot more to go through, but this is going to be like a daily thing. So I appreciate you guys uh, joining me for this. It's a it's an experiment. It's a new thing that I'm doing. And so, yeah, I hope it was cool. Let me know any feedback you have here or over on my Discord, which you can find at this link. All right, I got to sign into Twitch on this. Uh, hold on. I'll do it from over here. Discord. But go check out the Discord. Let me know if there's any feedback. I'm going to be doing this every weekday. And we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I got to go cool down and rest up for a little bit. Uh, I got some work to do that I can't do on camera. And I got a coaching session with Richard Horvitz. Because uh, we're we're moving on to the next lesson. So... It's it's going to be fun. I, I'm really loving working with that guy. Definitely highly recommend it if you're interested in voice acting or if you're already acting, any kind of acting, super great acting coach. So check him out. But any case, thanks very much for uh, joining me for this. And we're going to read over to somebody. So stick around for just a minute longer while I find somebody to read over to. There we go. Um, Let's see. Who is live right now rpm rosie that sounds fun all right we'll read over to rpm rosie let him know i sent you and have a great rest of your day i'll see y'all tomorrow but uh yeah thanks for joining for this new thing all right goodbye goodbye uh, goodbye